welcome back ladies and gentlemen now we're going to go over to step two now before we nip over there I just want to say um, in the last video I did talk about ensuring that you were careful with this size if we you were going to use it for a, um, a Facebook page correct but where is the size how can you tell how do you know what size this is if you go over here to the left screen and click down here on form type okay click on form type and that then gives you the width of your form and you can see how many pixels it is okay so that would be too big um, 500 pixels would probably be just good enough okay you might even want to bring it just slightly in um, to maybe for just over 495 or something like that just to be really be on the safe side okay um, so that's where you see the uh, width of your form okay so the next thing to do is to save the web form fantastic and then click on go to step two so now here we are in our basic settings we need to customize our web form properties so we give the form a name this is important if we're going to start to do multiple forms. Why would we want to do multiple forms? Because we can split test. We can split test pages, split test forms, split test what people are signing up to, split test whether we want to add an extra field like your question, split test whether just asking for the email works. You know, so you can, if you're going to set up some different pages and start to split test and things like that, then you can create different web forms. Okay, so for now, we're just going to call this one my web form okay um, and then we go to the thank you page so let's have a look at the basic page okay there you go that's the basic one that's something I think we've all seen before isn't it um, and then let's go down to the audio version in a moment you will receive an email message asking you to confirm your email address and activate your subscription Please I think we've all seen that one as well haven't we and then if we go down to the smart video version this is a really funky one from Aweber please check your inbox now to confirm your subscription that's very good I'm liking that one a lot or what you can do is create your own custom thank you page um, which is what I do prefer to do I have on one of my sign up forms I think I've got the smart video version but guys when you create a double opt-in that means that people are going to sign up with a name and email address and then they're going to receive an email to say please confirm you are going to lose quite a few people at that point of please confirm OK, now it could be that the email goes into their spam box. It could be that the MSN get in the way or, or whatever Internet service provider it is. Um, it could be just that they're not that interested, actually. Um, but if you actually send them directly to a page that says, hey, how are you doing? Thank you so much for signing up. Look, right now an email is coming directly into your inbox. Please do check your junk folders, your spam folders, um, everything you can to make sure that you grab that email and confirm. I think that you will end up with a higher confirmation rate okay so I think having your own thank you page um, has definite benefits but don't let that hold you up okay if you just want to go with an Aweber custom page for now then that's absolutely fine as long as you get something up there so we're going to go with a smart video version for now okay and then we're going to go and save that web form alright so we've got our design we've saved our basic settings and now what we want to do is actually publish that form okay so there's three options I will install my form my web designer will install my form or I'm gonna have a waste a web host it on this particular option we are going to install our own form okay and what we want is the raw HTML version now if you're using the free iframe templates at all then you can actually just go and use this JavaScript snippet in where it asks you for the opt-in form code that will work just as well but what we're going to do is take all of this code here and we're going to go and put it in our WordPress document okay and see how that looks so I'm going to grab the whole code in there and copy that okay and we'll go and put that into our notepad Go and grab my notepad there we go and we'll just copy all of that into there so that's now all in my notepad then let's go over to my test WordPress site and install that form and see what it looks like okay so here we are back over at our creator website on Facebook WordPress site um, and let's go and use page 3 for our example so we're going to click on edit 
in page three. We've landed on the HTML side. If I go over to the visual side, and where do we want our opt-in form? Pretty much there at the moment. So we're going to go and put those X's in there. Go back to the HTML and grab our code, okay, that's in our notepad. So we're going to basically copy that. I'm using a, a Mac, excuse me, so I've just put Command C. If you've got a PC, that would be Control C. And then in here, I am pasting that. So I'm using Command V. If you've got a PC, you would use Control V. And there I have pasted the entire Aweber code in the um, section there. Okay. So now we click Update. And that's just going to update that. And then let's click View Page. And boom, there's our form. Now that is a pretty big opt-in form to be fair. <laughs> I've made that pretty mammoth. Um, but of course, as I showed, showed you within the web editor, you can of course go in here and change the sizes and play around. You can make this a lot, lot smaller. If you make these lettering a lot smaller, if you make your images a lot smaller, you know, everything in here can be much smaller. Plus, if you use some of the templates, and just ensure they're much smaller templates as well. Okay, um, so you you can literally make it as big or as little as you would like to make it. Okay, so let's get over to our page and make sure that that's worked. So here we are on page one. Let's hit page three, and there's our form. Look at that. So you could literally, with your Aweber form, you could literally design almost your entire page all within your Aweber form. Yeah, and then upload that onto your page. That's pretty funky, isn't it? Okay, guys, so that I hope you've enjoyed the last few videos um, on how to use uh, Aweber and how to be able to create your opt in form. I hope that's given you a really good overview. Um, I'm going to do one more bonus video for this series. And that is because I have an awful lot of questions about people who want to use the WordPress iframe template. This template that we've installed on here, if we go to themes, obviously our entire WordPress template we're using is this SNA iframes theme, which allows us, um, sorry, allows us this sizing and everything on here, okay, for Facebook. But I've had a lot of questions from people who've said, OK, Joe, that's great, but I've got a blog as well. How do I, how can I upload this theme and create these web pages and um, keep my blog going? Because once I install this theme, it takes all the formatting of my blog out and my whole blog looks really, really strange. And I want to do both. So I am going to cover um, what you need to do uh, in the next video. OK, and then that will be the last of the bonus videos in this particular series of videos. So I'll see you on the next video.